for my genius hour, I decided to do mine about Alzheimer's. What is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is a progressive disease that worsens over time. It affects the brain and is like dementia. Over time, it makes it so you cannot remember memories or simple things. What causes Alzheimer's? It is caused by an abnormal buildup of proteins in your brain. Over time, the proteins start to build up. But scientists and researchers don't exactly know what causes the proteins to start building up in the first place. But due to this, it causes the brain cells to die and brain cell connections to disintegrate. This causes you to not be able to remember things, not be able to carry on a conversation, and not be able to think straight. Some symptoms of Alzheimer's. There are many symptoms of Alzheimer's, but here are a few of the main ones. Memory loss that disrupts daily life, challenges in planning and problem solving, and difficulty completing familiar tasks. Cures. There are no cures for Alzheimer's yet. They have medications you can take to try to slow down the progression of Alzheimer's. They also have experimental trials to see if that'll help you. You can see a doctor and see how far your Alzheimer's has progressed. And you can also make a plan to try and stay as independent as possible. The stages of Alzheimer's. There are three main stages of Alzheimer's. The first stage is the early stage. In this stage, symptoms are not very advanced. They're include not being able to remember recent conversations, not being able to remember where you leave your things, losing track of the day or date. Most of the time, people consider these to be symptoms of old age. This is what makes it hard to realize someone has Alzheimer's in the early stage. The next stage is the middle stage. In this stage, symptoms and signs become a lot more distinct. Some signs are not being able to remember names, being confused about what they are, where they are, behaving differently, and forgetfulness that can put themselves in harm or others at harm's way. The last stage is the most severe. In this stage, they'll become totally dependent and more than likely not be able to recognize your face or faces, remember names, and become weak. They also have a difficulty eating and swallowing, weight loss will happen, and gradually they will lose their speech. The diagnosis. Alzheimer's can be hard to diagnose since there are so many other reasons someone can be having memory problems, which is the main sign someone may have Alzheimer's. For example, it because be because the medications they are on Stress they're under, depression, alcohol, or drugs. Just if someone has Alzheimer's, they go through a series of tests, getting history about their health and what medications they're on, memory tests, language tests, and also brain scans. During this process, though, they could possibly diagnose the other cause for their memory problems. These could be examples like Parkinson's disease, dementia, and others. Prevention. There is not a distinct way to prevent someone from getting Alzheimer's, but scientists and researchers found a few things that may help you to stop the chance of developing it at a less risk. These things include exercising regularly, eating healthy, and asking a doctor for help to quit smoking if you do smoke. Here you see some brain scans. The first one is a normal brain scan. The scan is bright to show the brain is healthy. In the middle is a mild cognitively impaired, or MCI. This is a stage between normal forgetfulness due to aging and the development of Alzheimer's disease. People with an MCI have mild problems with thinking and memory, but they do not interfere with their everyday activities. Not everyone with an MCI will develop Alzheimer's though. In the last scan you can see is someone who has Alzheimer's disease. In the scan you can see a dark spot in the middle. This shows where the brain and the brain cells have died. This is irreversible and cannot change once it happens. Some additional information about Alzheimer's. There are things called preserved skills. Many important skills are reserved for long periods of time even while symptoms worsen. This is because they are controlled by parts of the brain affected later by the disease. These skills include reading or listening to books, telling stories or reminiscing, singing, listening to music, dancing, drawing, or doing crafts. Want to see a doctor. Another conditions, including contreatable conditions, can result in memory loss or other dementia-like symptoms. If you are concerned you or a loved one may have it, Make an appointment with your doctor and ask them about it. Also, the purple ribbon you see is for Alzheimer's Awareness Month. This is my work cited.